Hello and welcome to Higher Ground Gaming. This is Eric. Today we're going to showcase a, um, a game on Steam that we actually uh, just purchased yesterday. Um, and it is a game based on a extremely popular board game. In fact, one of the top five, I believe, still on uh, Board Game Geek. It's been out for a couple years. Has had numerous expansions, and um, and has also. This is the digital version of it. Now, the digital version um, has had mixed reviews, but uh, as of late, um, it's gotten a little bit better, I think. And uh, they've the developers have uh, added patches to it. And I, I've been playing it for the last two days. And granted, I'm no expert at the game. Um, I played just one game. Um, with five players, uh, the board game, with no expansions, uh, but I, I enjoyed it, although I didn't understand a lot what I was doing in the game, uh, I feel that this, by the time I got done the game, the board game, I knew a lot more, and uh, I've been itching to get back to it, I just, uh, haven't found anybody, uh, that has a copy of it, not, um, the guy that, in the game group I went to, uh, um, you know, I haven't seen since then, about a month ago, a little over a month ago, maybe. Um, so I had itching to play this game, and I saw that it was available on Steam. And, um, you know, I found it for a good, got a good price on it. Uh, I used the G2, G2A key I purchased, and got it for about half price, uh, the normal cost of the game. I think it runs for, I want to say $24.99 or $29.99. I paid about half, maybe a little bit more than half, around 15 so, uh, but I've been very pleased so far. So I played a bunch of the solo challenges, which is a 14 round game. I guess exactly like the, uh, the board game. Where you have 14 rounds to try to, uh, well I'll show you once we get into it. It's kind of hard to explain right here. But basically, like the name says, you're trying to terraform Mars to make it habitable to live in. And there's, uh, three basic conditions, um, that will end the game. The game will end in the regular game um, once those three things are, are reached. And that's, you reach a certain oxygen level, you reach a certain um, temperature level, and you place nine oceans, I think it is. But uh, we'll get more into that. The solo challenge, like I said, is just 14 rounds, and you have to try to do all those three things within 14 rounds, which is, can be difficult. So I'm going to play the, uh, the local here, which is going to be against an AI opponent. And again, I'm going to go with the easy. I've only played one against the AI. The AI so far is pretty good. I can see, well, I'm, it's probably just that I'm not that very good at it yet. But I played uh, probably around five hours worth of games. So around four or five games. Um, so I'm going to play against the AI. You can play against other human players, which is kind of cool too. So i uh, show you a little bit about that. And we're just going to play, you can play the standard game, corporate air rules. I'm not exactly sure what that is. But we're just going to go with the standard game. So a shorter version of the game with one of the production of all resources and have access to fewer cards. Extended version of the game, you start with no resource production with all cards. That's, now that, I believe, is the version that I played, the corporate air rules the, for the board game. Um, so yeah, so it was... It was a long game, probably three and a half hours, and uh, kind of difficult, but I did pick up quite a bit by the end of the game. So anyway, so let's uh, let's go with the standard game here. Hopefully the uh, sound isn't too bad. Uh, I can't hear anything on my end. I can I can just hear myself. Um, so all right, so you basically have three choices here. You can start with the beginner corporation, which is what I started with. Everybody started with when I played the board game. So I was kind of, so it was very, wasn't very asymmetric as far as that goes. I like to play with these. Um, in fact, I played, uh, I played with the Interplanetary Cinematics. I did play with that one. I think that's the one I played with. And I did, I think I did pretty well against the AI in that one. Um, so you start with 20 steel and 30 mega credits. Um, you have different types of resources in this. I'll get into it more when I, we get to the main board. And each time you play an event, you gain two mega credits. That is okay, but let's try. Let's see this one. You start with three heat production and forty-two mega credits. Now that's good because that helps you get the temperature of the planet up. You 
This I like though. You may use heat as money. Um, so you can, you know, certain resources you have to use for certain cards and stuff. But I think I'm going to go with the. Uh, this is so tempting right here. This is 20 steel. It's not 20 production. So it doesn't really help my production much. I think I'm going to go with this one right here because that's going to help me, I think, the most. And I haven't tried it yet. So let's try it. All right, so I apologize. I'm battling with a cold uh, here on Super Bowl Sunday. So uh, go Patriots. But I apologize for that. Just trying to get a game in before the Super Bowl. Have, haven't done much the last couple of days. I've been battling this uh, nasty cold, a lot of congestion and everything. But, you know, I will be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so let's go. So let's see what we got here. All right, so first thing, let me go through a few of these things, see if I can, actually. Um, maybe I'll go, th I'll go through these things on the bottom taskbar. These are all your resources here. Um, again, it automates everything, and, you know, you, in reality, you're in the game, you're playing with a bunch of cards, which can be very hard to track, especially when you're new at the game and you're not sure what's, what's good to play, how to play it. Um, so, first of all, you start with a choice of a buy up to ten cards. So let's see here. So I am, I've got good energy production here. Um, so let's check and see what these cards are. This one right here will increase my, decrease my energy, which is the last one over here. I mean, my heat, sorry. And decrease my mega credits. And I need three lotions played. So that one, I'm probably not going to go with that one. Uh, some cards you want to keep toward the end too. Now they also have a cost to play. Now each card here costs three just to buy it, to put it in your hand. And then to later on to play it, and up in the left hand corner you have to pay the nine mega credits here. Sometimes you can pay with other resources depending upon what's in the upper right hand corner here. This is just a little microbe thing. but And so they have requirements too. This one requires the planet to have at least 6% oxygen, which won't occur for a while. Let's see. I think to increase my plant production, my one step for each plant tag I have. And that's a tag in my hand. These are tags right here. These are the card. Every time you play a card, you get tags in your hand. So I'm going to go with that one. That one sounds like I'm going to need to do because plants help to increase the oxygen level, of course. Now this one, you have to have a three leaves. You move two plants, just individual plants. Um, and increase my production by two steps, which is I think is good. So that's going to help me later. And again, I probably won't play a lot of these. These I haven't really done a lot with. You can place all these microbes on the plant, which helps with heat and everything on the planet and oxygen and all that stuff. But it's not kind of a cheap card, though, so I may go with it. All right, solar power. Okay, this is I'm definitely going to keep this one to increase my energy production. Now, energy can be used to produce heat. So I'll show you how that works a little bit. All right, and this one, add one animal to this card, decrease any plant production by one step. And some of these have effect cards. Some of them have action cards on them. Some of them are one-time things. Some of them uh, you can use every round. As you can see down here below, this actions and effects here. How much do I start with? 42. I'm going to buy a few cards here. Because you build an engine through your cards, too. Um, raise oxygen by one step. Remove two plants from any player. Now, I'm playing against an AI, I mean, against an AI opponent, so I could use this. In the solo game, this wouldn't make any difference. Because I couldn't remove two plants because there are no other players. Gain two steel. Raise oxygen by one. I'm going to keep this one. I like that. It's not too expensive. Some of these cards are in the 20s and 30s. A lot of these so far aren't too bad. Spend eight mega credits to place one ocean. That is good as an, for an action later on. Yeah, I can use this a lot. Say normally it costs, I think, 11 to place an aquifer, which is like an ocean artificial ocean 
Um, so this will be a little cheaper. Granted, I got to pay 18 for it, but I think I'm going to go for that. I'd rather, the, rather you get too many cards and not enough. Place an ocean and draw two. Yeah, I'm going to get this one. See, this is a really expensive one, but it does a lot. So this one I may use. And see, it's got more tags on here. It's got an earth tag and some other tag too. So some cards, you need certain tags in your hand. So you need to have played certain cards before it. I haven't seen this one yet. Increase your heat production by four steps. Place a hydrothermal vent on an area. Wait, on an area reserved for an ocean. Ooh, I like that. There's a lot of good cards here. So, it's going to cost me 27, which is nine cards. So, I got nine out of the ten cards. I think there's only one card that I didn't pick, and that was... cloud seeding one okay all right so let's go with it so I may not be able to do too much on my fr okay so here's the planet here these are the tiles you get a place you place tiles on each one of these things right here um, these resources here are resources you receive if you place a tile on them certain tiles you can only you can place oceans on which you'll see the blue right here um, other tiles you can place forests on um, there's certain I mean not forests uh, gardens which increase the oxygen level. Uh, you can place cities on here too. Um, let's see here. So let's go through the resources here. So this is mega credits. This is your currency, your gold, like per se, I guess you could say. As you can see, general currency used for buying and playing cards and standard projects, milestones, and awards. So there's no milestones and awards. Oh, actually, there is in this in this one. Um, we'll get to that in a minute. Okay, this is the steel. This is one used to pay for building cards. So some cards you can use a combination of steel and mega credits for. So it's worth two mega credits per unit. You can offset the price. You, um, here is titanium. Titanium is used to pay for space cards, and it's worth three mega credits each. Now here's, as an action, eight plant resources can be converted into a greenery tile, which you place on the board, which increases your oxygen level. Um, here is energy. Energy is used rather via an action on a blue card or via a, a decrease in energy production. Leftover energy is converted into heat. So as you can see here, there's an arrow here. So at the end of each round, whatever you have for energy here, um, you can convert it each round here. Now heat, as an action, eight heat resources may be spent to increase temperature and therefore you are terraforming rating by one step. So this will increase our terraformer rating, which starts off at 20. And again, this, uh, I think this increases our terraform rating too, I believe. Uh, here's our hand right here. Okay, card resources. Sometimes uh, you gain stuff like you can place like microbes or animals on them. Tags. So I've got one space tag so far. So these are the cards I play. So this year, you usually have to keep track of uh, in your hit, uh, once you play them in, in a in a pile uh, on the table, and it's it can be very, there's a lot going on in this game. So I found this kind of dip, this is um, nice that it has this that organizes everything for you. So it does all the record keeping and bookkeeping for you. Victory points. These are victory points that accumulate on the cards. Certain cards have victory points on them, which I'll point out when I get to some. When you play them, some cards you play just for victory points. And actions, uh, like I said on the cards, some type cards have actions you can take every round. So when you place a blue card or a corporation, so you can use it once per generation is like a round in the game. And then effects here. And uh, this is my special effect, which I believe I got from the, yeah, where I can convert um, heat into mega credits. A currency there, okay. Now, um, th the three end conditions uh, which trigger the end of the game are oceans. If you place once you once the ninth ocean is placed, um, all the oceans are placed there. So all three of these have to occur for the game to end. So three ocean, I mean nine oceans. Oxygen level reaches f uh, fourteen percent. Okay, uh, and the temperature on the planet reaches 8 degrees Celsius. Okay. 
So those are the three conditions which occur. On the tracks here, uh, special might you get bonus steps. If you're the person to play to get to the auction level to eight percent, you get um, you incre increase the heat on the planet by one. If you get to these milestones, you get an increase in your heat rating um, on the planet. So you increase on your heat production. Um, as you notice, the planet's moving around behind me. Uh, these are standard things which are available every round. You don't need to play a card for these. Uh, you have to use mega credits. That's all you can use. Uh, you can sell your cards. Like if your cards... Some cards you have to know when to use at what time, which the AI... I mean, the, uh, the interface does a great job in showing you, um, which I'll point out. You know, either the temperature has to be at a certain point or the oxygen level has to be above or below a certain point. Or you have to have so many oceans placed. Um, that, but some cards um, become obsolete after a while. You know, you can no longer use them. Um, they have caps on them on the uh, maximum amounts of whatever resource or whatever uh, um, temperature or oxygen or oceans or something like that. Um, therefore, you can sell them for one mega credit each. Uh, power plant increase in production straight. Just increase in energy production, which can be useful early on. Although there are cards later on you can get to play for that. Um, and a lot of these are more expensive than the cards that are out there. But you have to wait for the cards to come out sometimes. This right here, an asteroid hits the planet and increases temperature rating by one ter uh, temperature by one step and terraforming one step. And these are all very thematic. They very they make sense. Um, the asteroid, of course, will produce heat. Aquifer, of course will produce oxygen um, you know oceans and stuff like that give you two mega credits per adjacent ocean uh, greenery I'm sorry the greenery produces oxygen not the aquifer um, increases your terraform rating you get one victory point at the end of the game per greenery so it's good to accumulate those and cities uh, have one victory point at the end of the game for each adjacent greenery tile regardless of the owner okay so cities can get more valuable with greeneries placed around them. Now here's certain milestones. This is kind of a, an interesting thing, which at first I didn't think was fair, but I kind of think it's a good thing to have in the game. Um, so here, once you've reached these terraform ratings right here, or once you've reached the minimum requirement here, you can make a bid, um, pay an amount, and uh, mega credits, and be in the running to win this. Now, just because you put a bid in here, it just opens it up. It opens up for everybody too. So let's just say I get reach 35 for a terraform rating. If um, if I say get to 40 by the end of the game, but somebody beats me and gets say a 41 or a 43 or whatever, then um, then I will not get a uh, the first prize. Uh, I think there's only one prize in this. So in this case, I think you have to get the top one. So I could lose this even though I bid on it. But what this also does is opens up the milestone. So if you think you're going to win it, or if you're running away with something, you might want to do that. In the actual game, I ran away with, uh, uh, I'm trying to think, I think it was the, one of the awards, but it was the uh, the Heat Award. I ended up getting that. Um, and I don't think I was the one that even put opened it up at first. Um, I think it was another player. So, okay, this one owned at least three city tiles. So once you reach three city tiles, you can apply for this. Um, again, the most cities wins. Three greenery tiles, same type of thing as a building one. Builder, eight building tags. That means cards you play have eight building tags on them. This one is if you're hoarding cards. So, all right, so those are those. And then finally, the awards, which are similar, I think. Um, these are first and second place, so... Most tiles in play, most tiles placed on the board. Banker, highest mega credit production. Um, again, first and second place for that. Scientist, both science tags. Uh, heat resource, this is the one I think it was thermalist. That, that was the one I think I had. Um, yeah, so I got the five points for that. And minor. I ended up coming in last place in the game. <laughs> Although I, th I was kind of. I wasn't, I wasn't like, um, 
suffering from PA paralysis analysis. I think I was just the opposite. I just wanted to play the game and see how it was played, and I mean, uh, and try to see what, how my decisions impacted. So, some of the players I played with, particularly one or two, um, were very were very paralysis analysis, which kind of made the game go long. But you know, I did learn from that. So, all right, and here is my uh, corporation right here, corporation information. So I start with three heat and 42 mega credits, and I may use heat as mega credits. All right. So let's get into the first round of the game. So each round, you have two actions, and as long as you play one action, you can, after the last player is played, you can play another action. So I am going to look in here. So you start. We start off with one uh, production level. These top numbers are the production level. So each each generation or each round. Um, you'll get one of these plus as a bonus I know you get from other stuff for these um, and then this one right here I have four heat so I'm gonna get four heat every round now uh, again you can transform these at the end of the round but you'll see uh, we'll, you'll see that as we go all right so first I think I'm gonna play a card so you can organize it according to the cost I usually do playability sometimes you want to do card type because you want to figure out you know what you need for cards or what you played so far uh, so I'm gonna go play ability here so the ones that are you can see all of them right here I can play I think I can play both of these right here these right here I don't have some of the conditions I'm at like this one has to have a six percent um, oxygen rate this one eight percent and this one has to have at least three oceans and again there's other things too Okay. All right, so let's see what we get here. I definitely want to start increasing my heat. I think I'm going to do that. So this one, if I play this card, I get one victory point right here at the end of the game. So that's going to go on my VP down here. Uh, and uh, I'm going to gain a power tag here and a... Uh, and a... Uh, I can't remember what that is, but I'll show you as soon as I play it. So it's going to cost me 11 mega credits, so I'm going to use that. So. Okay, now watch this. Now down here, if you look at it, it cost me mega credits. And then, boom, this goes up by one. So now every round I'll get two resources. Okay, and I'll show you here. Now I get three tags. So it gave me a building tag, because I built something. And it gave me a power tag. All right. Now let's see, do I want to do a second action here? Let's see. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Nope, it looks like I'm not going to be able to because I only have four mega credits. So, fortunately, I'm going to have to pass. So, I'm going to skip. Okay. And now, the computer player will go, the AI. So, he did something. He chose three cards. I've got three cards. Uh, all right. So, he's going to played a card there. I wish that would have stayed a, stayed a little bit longer because I don't know all the cards yet. Alright, so that was it. So, now it's my turn. And I can check out his at any time here. I can check and see what he ex actually played. He played this one. Which he gained a plant. Which I don't know if that's what he did. Or add two microbes. He might have added two microbes to well, this is the first card he played, so I don't think he did that. So he must have gained a plant. Okay. Alright, let's get back to me. Alright, so now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to play another card. Ooh, get back here. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to play anything, so... I'm just going to pass again, and that will end the generation. So now to go to generation 2 here. Oh, actually, the purple player. Oh, he's going to add... Okay, now he gets his plant there. And let's see, he's probably going to pass for the second time. Nope, so he's going to do this one. Search for life. So that looks like it increased a victory point, maybe. Oh, so he spent the mega credit to reveal... Man energy by one step and you can go into the negatives of these things too oh, that'll hurt you overall so that goes to zero now 
So he's doing a lot here. I'll have to check out and see what he's done. Okay, so he passes the second turn. Alright, and... All right, so this is going to be the next round. Player order will change now, I believe. Yeah, after the production. Yeah, generation two now. And purple player will go first this round. Okay, so I think he picked cards. And now I have to pick cards. So you get four cards. You can buy up to four cards. I think in the version that we played, it was only three cards. Um, that would be the cor corporate longer version. You only choose from three cards. So, I can decrease my plant production by one step and increase my mega production by four steps. Ooh. That would be good to get more money, but I might want to get that. So, usually early on, if I think I might want to use it, then I'll get it. Raise temperature by one step and gain two titanium. Remove the three plants from any player. That could be good. So, that's kind of like a offensive card, which I can, like, you know steal from another player I guess so you usually don't play a lot of those but it might be good to try to beat the AI and this one I spend second meg mega credits because so the action on here to increase my energy production by one step it's only three so I think I'm gonna go with that and then this one ooh, decrease heat production by two steps to increase my energy production by one step and but it's gonna give me negative one victory point so I'm not gonna go with that one so, uh, so I selected three cards. So I'm done here. So I have 16 mega credits to try to spend here. Uh, well, the purple will go first. So he adds another. He took an action there. So he, he usually does a lot of actions for what I, I looked at. Discard, yep. So he's look, looking at the cards there, seeing what he likes. All right, so now it's my turn. So, let's see here. So, I could. I think I'm gonna add an ocean here. Let's let's see. Do I want to increase the increase. Use the asteroid. Raise the temperature by one step and gain two titanium. Move it to three plants from any player. I think I'm gonna save that for when he gets more plants. This one spend seven me, seven mega credits to increase my energy production. But I can also use um, titanium and other things too, so uh, that might be useful. Or spend eight to place an ocean tile. Look at these two right here. I think I'm gonna go with this one's cheaper. So I'm gonna use the here. I'm gonna use my titanium. What? I only have one. But that see how increase decrease that to zero because it's worth three mega credits. So I basically can do this, well, for free as far as Mega Credits go, but I do use the Titanium. So I really don't have any other use for Titanium right now, but let's build that. Alright, so that didn't really do anything for me, I just built it. Now I could use, I'm going to use the action now. So I'm going to spend 7 Mega Credits to increase my energy production by 1. Could have used some heat there, but I'm going to save that. All right, so that increased that by one. All right, so that's my energy production. All right, so let's see. Oh, I don't have any actions left, so I'm going to end my turn. He'll come around to me again after the purple's done playing. So he just spent 18 on something. He's got two cards now, two more cards. So he gained a uh, terraforming rating there. All right, so my turn now. Food factory. That might be good. Mining expedition, which is what? Raise oxygen by one step. Remove two plants from any player. Gain two steel. Cost 12. I think I'm going to go with this one. Ooh, I don't, want, I don't really want to decrease my plant production right now. It's already at just that one. Maybe something I want to do later on, but so I think I'm gonna try this one. So let's see if I can steal some from him. 
So I increased the oxygen by one. So that's always good. Got a victory point for that now. He is a Ventrex. He has five plants, so yes, I'm going to definitely steal two plants from him. Well, actually, I think it just gets rid of two plants. I don't think it actually gives them to me, unfortunately. I got that mixed up in the last game I played. Uh, let's see here. So I think that's all I'm going to be able to do. Again, the first few rounds, you, you're kind of building your engine, so you're not going to have a lot to do, but later on, you definitely you get a lot more to do. So it looks like he placed an ocean. So, and again, um, some certain cards which require a certain amount of oceans, that's a cumulative total of all the oceans on the board. Um, so, let's see here. So, I think I'm still going to pass. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so we pass. So the rounds go fairly fast. Again, later on, there's more decisions to make, so... But the, like I said, the computer automates a lot of the stuff, so I think it runs, you know, very smoothly for what I can see. I haven't had any issues with crashing or anything, so I definitely, uh, if you're all interested in the board game, definitely check this out. Okay, so four cards here, so at least one plant, so you have to have at least one plant, microbe tag, and animal tag to play this one. It's worth three victory points, though. Ooh. That's a lot, though. I don't usually do all this microbe and animal stuff yet, so. At least two science tags. Let's see how many tags we have here. We have no science tags yet. But it's three power. I mean, three uh, energy, so I think I'm going to go with that. Increase my mega credit production by two steps and place a greenery tile. Ooh. That was very good. This one has to have at least three ocean tiles placed. In G production by one. I'll go with that one. It's got a victory point on it too. And it's only eight mega credits. So we're going to go through that. And I think that's it. So I got three out of the four cards. All right. So that's definitely going to decrease. He's got four already on his. Uh, I'm going to take a look and see what his. What his Ventrex thing does. Oh, uh, his... Wow. His go plus... Two and minus two steps. Wow. For, the, for those things. Ooh, so. so he increases the temperature and oxygen level and all that stuff faster. Let's see here. Okay. So let's see. What are we going to do here? back to my thing okay playability let's see here all right so I think I'm gonna go for the uh, the ocean thing although this one is tempting to increase my heat production by four steps that is very good and I place a high hydrothermal vent on an area reserved for an ocean. I think I'm going to go with that. Okay, let's, uh, oops, where was that? Yeah, let's go with that one. So, I'm going to use four. Yeah, four. So, it's going to still leave, ooh. It's only going to leave me with one med credit, but, yeah, I'm going to do it. Okay. So, this will get my, this should go up to, well, that's only if I use it, though, isn't it? Oh, I gotta place an ocean now. Okay. So now where I place an ocean is important. If I plant place it up here next to Noctis City and everything, I'll get two plants right here. Not two production, but two plants. Here, this will give me two titanium. But if you join them outside of cities that you own, it's better. But oh, I kinda like this up here for my production there. I think I'm gonna go with place them up here. So it builds that thing. Increases my heat to 8, which is very good. But 
I think that's gonna ooh, I can do the food factory. But that would I think I'm gonna sacrifice this one plant production. I'm not getting much anyway, but it's gonna increase my mega credits quite a bit. And I'll get a victory point for it. So I think I'm going to use do this. So that way it will increase my mega credit production. See, as you can see, it increased that to zero, but this goes up to five now, which is key. So I'll definitely be able to make up for that plant thing later on. Okay, uh, so I'll end my turn here. So he used an action there. He's using the action a lot. And he's using another action there. So my turn now. So I don't think I can do anything here, so I get a pass. Yeah, don't have any money. So next round, you'll see my income will go up. Okay, so play a card there. now okay so, uh, production phase so I see I get a little bit more five there plus standard amount all right so now looks like he's going to be able to increase the oxygen level he goes first all right, so I gotta buy my cards here, so. So it's one victory point per two animal. I'm gonna go with that. Titanium production by two steps. I like that. It costs 30, though, but. We'll see. Here we go. This one I definitely want heat production. And this one, eh, not so much. Actually, hold on here. Yeah, I don't have any as a microbe tag, so. Alright, I want to just get those two. Spend a little bit less on cards, so I have a little bit of money now to, to do some actions. So he'll go first. He's going to use that coal fungus thing again. Uses the search for life again. Uses, he's using those a lot. My turn now. All right, so first thing I want to do is I want to increase the heat here. So I'm going to spend eight of these 11 heat to increase temperature by one or two or whatever. Get to the next thing. So 28 now. And my second action here. Let's see. Pumping or a protected valley. Increase my mega. Pro I want to keep increase my mega production. I like that. And it place a greenery tile in any reserve for an ocean. I want to do that. Ooh, actually, let's uh, see if I can spend any more. Yeah, I only have the one to spend here. So, and I don't really want to spend any more heat. So I'll spend all my twenty on here. It's a good investment, I think. Now I'm gonna get to place a ocean. Is it a oh? A greenery on where an ocean usually goes. So now, I think I'm going to go here just because I can gain two titanium. So that, all right, so a greenery is placed there. So the oxygen level goes up by one. All right, so I don't think I'm going to be able to do much here. Oh, yeah, I do have a... Oh, I can spend other resources here, so... I'm going to go for this one, I think. Increase my heat production by two, and I'm going to use three titanium. So the titanium helped there. All right, so why can't I do this? Oh, I don't have any actions. Left. Okay, so I'm going to have to do that next. That's right, I did two actions here. So that's going to be my next action. When it comes back to me. All right, he increased the oxygen level by one. 
spent 18 to do something else. Oh, we placed another ocean. That was it. I think that was just an aquifer he placed. Let's see here. So, no, no, he did. Oh, uh, yeah, he placed an aquifer for 18. Okay. Okay, so let's go with that thing we were going to do. Let's increase our heat by two steps. So I'm going to use three titanium, which is nine. Okay, so that's good. Now my heat is up to 10 there. That's going to have to start getting that cranking out the heat there. Both currently tied in our terraform rating at 23. Alright, so second action here. I don't think I'm going to have enough to... Nope, I don't have enough to do anything here, so... Next turn, I'll be able to do more. Okay, so again, pass here. This will end the round. End the generation. So I'll get to go first now in this generation. Ooh, lots of good stuff on that one. And I will be able to increase the heat here. Now, I usually like to check to see before I increase the heat because we're getting, especially when we're getting close to a milestone here. So whoever hits that first is going to get it. If I place one and then he places one, then he'll do it first. So you got to be careful with that. So when I play a space card, play two less. This requires... Uh, Mega credits, but you have to have 5% oxygen level, so that's going to be fairly soon, but decrease my energy production by one step and increase my mega credit. Eventually, that could be helpful later on. I might select that. Okay, this one's a maximum 5%. I, get two, I just get two straight mega credits. That's it, but it's not that expensive, so... That would be good for a couple there. Mining rights. Place the mining tile in the area for steel or titanium placement bonus. Increase that production. Increase that production by one step. That's good. Sometimes they can become too uh, spread out. You should always try to focus on something from what I've seen. But <laughs> we'll see here. Decrease your energy production by one step. Raise your terraform rating by two steps. Eh. Okay, I'll go for that one too. When I'm not sure, I usually go for it. When I played the board game, I kind of made the mistake early on. To set, I sold a lot of the cards I didn't think I was going to be able to use, and that kind of came back to bite me a little bit. So I, I'd rather have more cards than not enough. Okay. Alright, so let's see here. So. So I also, too, don't want to increase the heat just in case I want to check and see if there are any requirements Ooh. before so I don't go below. This one has to have oxygen below 5. So I definitely probably want to play this one before it becomes obsolete. So I'm going to play this one. And I'll get just two straight victory points. So I'm going to use the uh, steel for that one, though. Okay, so I'll get two victory points there, so at the end of the game. Alright. I don't think there's anything that Yeah, temperature effects. So I will as my second action here, I will convert eight to reach temperature. Oh, that might not have been a good thing because I think yeah, he's gonna be Okay. No, I'm one short. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, he's going to increase it and get the bonus. He might even get two bonuses on this one. No. So that might have been it. But I'll get, I can still in line to get the second bonus, so. He may not take it right now, though. He may not. He may not. Hoping he doesn't. Yeah, I don't think he's got to. Oh, no. No, he didn't. Oh, excellent. He didn't take it. Okay. For now, though. You probably saw that he can do it in the future, but is there anything that I can do so I can take it right now? Uh, we 
wait, right here, I think. I think I can do this. Yes, raise the temperature by one step and gain two titanium. Move the two plants ready. I'm going to do this. So I'm going to use those two here. Oh, this is good. So here we go. Watch this. So I'll get a bonus now. So that'll increase it to 11. So I'm cranking out the heat here. Which I did in the actual game too. Uh, and I'm going to take three plants from him. So if nothing else, it decreases his plants. And I think I'm going to do this mining one right here. Yeah, increase, place the mining tile in area with steel and titanium placement bonus. Increase that production by one step. Okay, I'm going to use this. Yes. Okay, now where I'm going to place it here. Ah. Uh, I think I can only increase it by one step anyway, but do I want steel or do I want titanium? I think I'm going to go for the... There's less titanium, so I'm going to go for this one right here just in case. Titanium is worth more, so I'm going to go for that one. Let's go for that one. Okay. Good. Alright, so I think that was a good productive round there. Play a card. Probably increase the heat there at least one. Maybe. Energy increases plant, so he's increasing his plant production. That's probably a good thing. Well, I'm higher on the energy, so I'm the energy guy and he's the plant guy, so between us we'll push up both. Okay, so let's see here. I don't think I can do anything here. Yeah, I'm pretty much done, so we'll end that. But a very fun game though. Um, and I think this game, I'm not sure if it comes with the expansions or not. I, I don't think so right now, or at least not all of them. But I think you may be able to add the expansions in the future, if not, you know, if they are in it already. So, I haven't seen any indication that the expansions are in this, but definitely it's, it can get to be an expensive game with all the, uh, at least I think 200 with all the expansions that are out. So, this I think, again, 15 bucks, even if you pay the full price of 25 bucks and then it's still I think worth it but oh now this is a very good card here look how expensive it is though and I get to remove six plants but I get to place two oceans and increase the temperature twice so I am going to keep that because my I got my engine going here so I, I, I'm producing money fairly fast so if I can increase that a little bit more that would be a very useful powerful card to play Place a city tile next to no other tile. Okay. Alright, I think I like that. Minimum negative 16, so we're getting close to that. Plant production by one step and gain three plants, so it's a very good card. So, ooh, and this one, plant production. So this one's not going to be used for a while, but alright, and I get a victory point, so some very good cards here, so. I had to take advantage of those. So definitely still building my engine. So he uses that action again on that card. Which he played in the first round. First generation. Uses the other card there. Alright, my turn now. Do I want to increase the temperature? I can. Uh, I think I'm going to play my... I can't can play this now, I think. I want to do this. I want to place a couple of oceans here. Get that bonus there. That's going to be good. And I'm going to use five titanium. So I, so I can just barely do it, but I'm going to go for it. So watch this. Place two oceans here. Okay, do 
So I want to increase my plant production. I'll get a card. I think I'm just going to keep increasing my plant production. So, I mean, my plant uh, amount. So, two extra plants I'll get here. And then this will give me the bonus here, I think. There you go. So, I get that bonus again, which is good. And I'm up to 12. All right. So oxygen, the temperature is going up here, and we'll steal some plants from this guy again. All right, good. All right, so action two. Could spend eight to get another ocean. I think I'm going to do that. So let's do that. So let's get another ocean here. Maybe I didn't get the ocean. What did I do? Thought I did. Oh, I gotta spend eight. So I won't be able to do that. Yeah, I gotta take a look at these here too. No, I gotta I think my energy production. Eh. So these are very useful. I think I'm gonna use the aquifer pumping next round, so I haven't used any actions left, so I think I made any any of those actions there from my card, so I think I'm going to start using them. Sometimes when I, I don't see them out in front of me, I uh, don't notice they're there. But I got an effect too. I got to look at that too. Let's see what he's going to do. Okay. So, yeah, I don't have enough mega credits for that. So, so fortunately, I won't be able to do anything. But next round, I will, I think. So I may not buy as many cards now, unless they're really, really good. So he's got up to 29 terraforming rate. I'm at 25. Actually, I'm 29. He's 25, so I'm ahead of him. So that's good. In the last game, the one and only game I played against him, he was pretty far ahead of me there and ended up winning by quite a bit. But this one I may have actually a chance here. So, yeah, I don't think any of these I'm going to get. Microbe. Spend four energy to gain one steel. Don't need to do that. Increase energy production by one and gain two titanium. That is still good though. And then this one, no, I'm not going to do that. So, all right, we we'll just buy one card here. So, I think that's good. So, we got 33 left now. All right, so let's see here. Do I want to place a city to have because I know the tile? Let's go with the first one there. Decrease my energy production by one step. Raise my terraforming by two there. Place an ocean tile and draw two cards. Gain five. Plants or four additional animals to another card. Man. Increase my titanium production by two. Obtain two victory points. That costs 30. Good boy. Increase my plant production by one step in each plant tag I have. I don't think I have any plant tags right now. I don't think so. That wouldn't do me any good right now. Or are those amazing? Are these plant tags? Plant resource. I think plant tags are the actual ones I have on the map here, so I don't want to do that one yet. So, wave power, though. So, wave power has to have at least three oceans, which I think there are. Yeah, it's more than three, easily. So, I think I might just do this one. It's cheap. Keep our energy production up. Wave power. Alright. And I think I'm gonna convert eight heat to increase temperature. So I don't have any cards that are really affected by temperature right now. Alright, so in my turn I can still increase temperature by one 
next turn too, which I think I'm probably going to do. I thought he had to have a minimum of 6 oxygen for that, but I'm not sure how he was allowed to play that one. I'm just going to use the second action. Oh, I can use my actions too. Down here. So I'm going to think I'm going to do that this time. Let's see if he passes or not. He probably will pass. Yep. Okay. So do I want to use one of these? Do this. And I'm gonna use this. Okay. Yes. Alright, so ocean. I'm gonna do this one because it gives me two. I might want to consider placing a city too. Alright, second action now. Ooh. I think I might increase my titanium again to get two victory points, so go with that. <coughs> Ooh, I just noticed. Hopefully <laughs> Hopefully I had the uh, button set, but I think I might have had it on mute, so hopefully I didn't, but if I did, welcome to the stream. If I didn't, then let's just continue on. So anyway, terraforming Mars here. Hold on. Alrighty, we're back. Alright. So again, if you if I did have the mute on and you're just hearing my voice now, welcome to the stream. Uh, welcome to the, uh, not stream, but the recording. Terraforming Mars, a uh, version of the board game that I recently played. Um, very, I think it's a very good adaptation of it so far so all right so let's end my turn here oops purple will go so he's going to do his actions all right so he's an inventrex corporation and i am the helion i think it is Yeah, heal me on. All right, so again, victory points here. I mean, uh, winning conditions here at the end, or the end game conditions, are oxygen gets to 14, uh, Celsius gets to 8, and uh, temperature gets to 8 degrees Celsius, and uh, nine oceans are placed. So those are the all three of them have to occur for the end game, and then this final scoring after that. I have 31 points, in terraforming rating, and he has 25. Um, I have seven more victory points coming my way. And uh, I think what I'm going to do now is look at my cards. Which I can't do any more in this round, I don't think. Oh, I can do this, though. I want to do my... I am going to convert eight plants and get a greenery here. So I'm going to start looking at these milestones here, too. Uh, let's go for this one. Qualify for anything here yet? Probably don't. Yeah, none of these I do. That one I'm getting close to. I may do that one. Terraform rating. So keep an eye on that as soon as I get three more terraform rating. All right. So that is going to be all I'm going to be able to do here. So right. he's going to start opening up milestones too. So so he's got a four for income level. A nine for for heat. Those are the ones I usually go for. So let's see what I get here. Four and nine. I think I'm higher than him on heat, but it might be a little higher than on income too. Uh, four and nine. Yeah, I do. I am higher than him. Both of them. So I may look to see. Can I open up any of those yet? Thermalis. Heat. No, I can't do that one yet. But I can keep an eye out for some of these. How many building tags do I have to play? Ooh, I might want to go for that one. Let's see what he's got. How many building tags does he have in play? 
He has five. Hmm. That would make go for the building one too. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, he's probably going to increase the temperature there. So let's see here. Uh, so yeah, I got nothing I can do right now. So we reach the one hour mark here. Generation only generation eight. So as you can see with five players, it definitely can bog down even uh probably even if it was the uh computer version. Ooh, that was good. Okay, so I'm getting some good cash roll here. So I will go no, he will go first next round next generation. Generation eight. So he's gonna go. I'm gonna pick my cards. Uh, I'm gonna go for the microbes. Raise temperature by four steps and gain two titanium. Or decrease temperature by four steps. Wow. You went to four plants with any player. Ooh, that's a good one. I like that one. Gain one plant. Maximum temperature could be. Ooh, that's getting close. To... I have to use this one right away. When an ocean is played. Gain two plants. Yeah. It's not that great. Increase energy production by one. And, and production. And energy production by one. It's for each city tile in play. How many city tiles are in play? I think there's only one. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to help. That may help later on, though, so I'm going to get that one. Okay. Alright. Yeah, right now there's only one city tile in play. Okay, so he uses that one. He's definitely making the most of his actions there for resources. I'll take a look at mine. Yeah, he's using both of them there. So those are paying off big time for him. I want to use one of those. Shit. I want to get rid of that. Not right now. I don't think. Okay. Turn form rating by two. And. Place a city tile. I'm gonna try that one. I think. Yeah, I gotta. I wanna place a city tile here. Next, no other tile. I think I'm gonna place it over here so I can get a couple of steel. So there's two city tiles up there. So. I'm gonna wait till I put another city's there. I think this one might be good. Raise temperature by two steps and gain four titanium. With four plants for any player. Let's go with that. And temperature keeps going up. Right. Alright, I'm getting close to that 35 there. And let's go. Minus four right here. Yeah. Steal some plants from him. All right. Increase the heat production by one step. Okay. He's working on his heat there. Get a little closer to me. So we increase this plant production there by one. Let's get a little closer. So, is there anything I can do? It's going to increase my plant production, but it has to be negative 16 or above, which it is. I want to get my insects.
increase my plant production by 173 plants. Eh, why not? I'll use that one. Alright, I think I am going to do this. So that gets me to 35 here. So I think next round I am going to go to that milestone there. to the other milestone there, the other uh, bonus. Okay, so I'm gonna spend, oh, I don't know if I have any money to spend. I can spend energy units, do I have enough? Uh, yeah, I don't have enough there yet. Okay, I don't have enough money. So. Since I am going for that, I think I'm going to play this card yeah so that decreases this but it's gonna get my terror my uh, terraform rating up by two so there we go. so that increases the gap there so I'll be all set next round to play that Could do the shuttle thing here Minimum 5%. Decrease my energy production by one step and increase my mega credit energy production. That's okay. We'll do that. Let's see the shuttles. There we go. Now I'm set up to do that mega credit thing too. Get a little higher on that. Turn again. All right, so I don't have any money now, so I think I'm just gonna pass for now. And next generation, I'll go first. So make it some mile. Oh, he got a milestone. What did he get? He opened up one. What did he open up? 46 meg credits now. Generation 9. I go first. Pick my cards. Energy production and steel production by one step each. The steel production one is bad. Decrease my energy production step and increase my. Yes, that's definitely what I want. Spend five heat to gain either four plants or add two animals. Zero costs. So I kind of to go with that one. Pay twelve mega credits to place an ocean tile. Titanium may be used as playing as if playing a space card. Point for each Jovian tag I have. Do I have any Jovian tags? Two. All right, maybe I'll go for that one too. All right, so I'm getting all four cards. All right. All right. All right, so he opened up a milestone. Which one did he open up? The gardener. He opened up the last time I played him, and I ended up beating him on that, but I think I'm going to go for the terraform rating here. So. Use my energy for that. Okay, good. Yes, here for milestone. And I think I can open up. Oh, can I open up the one on the money too? Builder, planner. No. And Lord, most tiles in play. And yeah, mega credit production. I'm gonna go for that one. I do want to increase the temperature, so I'm going to just use a couple on there. Yeah, no, I won't use any. 
Alright, I need to see his money on that one. Yes. Okay. Alright. So I'm in my turn. Let's see what he does here. He plays a card. He's gonna place an ocean to draw a card. So six oceans out now. Three more oceans to go. He gets a card for that too. He's got a lot of those microbes though. He's gonna get a lot in there, so that could come back to bite me. I don't think I'm gonna place that. Uh, I might have wanted to save those to get two energy points there, but can he increase it? He can. He can increase it just once though. So let's see if he does that. I'll I'll wait. Let's see if he does that. I kind I think I am gonna because he's going for the plant thing. He's got one, two, three plants, and I've got one, two, two plants. So I think I'm gonna increase put the pressure on here for the plant thing. Hello? Oh, that's his. Oh, I can't do it. <laughs> Never mind. I was looking at his. But I can do this. It's going to increase my plant production by three. What else can I do? Get an ocean, two cards, and five plants. Energy fraction, insects. Trees or insects, which is the one I want to go with. This gives me a victory point, too. What does this do? One step for each plant tag. I have two plant tags, so I can go two steps. I'm going to go this one. Yeah, so I might have wanted to wait on that one, but that's okay. We'll go out for it now. Alright, I think... No, I'm not going to do that. So I can still do what I can still do the tree thing here. Increase my plant production by three steps. Gain one plant. Oh yeah, we'll go into that one. Oh yes. So that'll help with the oxygen there. Nice. So I wanna see if I can get that milestone there. Plant one. Steal that from under his belt again. Alright, no actions left. Yeah, very fun game though. Definitely enjoying this. Okay. Definitely a lot of replayability. In my opinion. So it's easy to search for a light. Once I get to know the cards better, I'm sure I'll be able little bit better at it too. Alright, so he did increase his temperature there. I am not going to increase the temperature. Do I want to keep going on this? These three oceans, we move two plants, increase your plant. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to go with that one. Let's do that. Keep, keep on with the plants there. Nice. Up to eight now, excellent. there one for growing the most plants just the gardener one huh there's the one here for that thermologist heat the most have the most heat resource that's heat right there right yeah what's he have for heat I have 12 heat he's got 10 heat Ooh, oh man do I have any way to increase my heat My car. Uh, I have to keep that one in mind. All right, we'll skip it. Right no. Why can't I look at my cards now? Oh, look at his stuff. That's why. That yeah, makes sense. So, can I increase my heat anyway? My flames there. The 
only card I can play now is increase my energy production by one, gain a step until I'm going to use this. Yeah, I'll do this. One more, two more oceans left to place. All right, so, oh, I'm gonna do the, uh, can't. So he didn't do that. Can he do it on his turn? No, he can't. So he can't increase the heat. Is there any way I can get more heat? Or I can prevent him, steal some heat from him. He's got to go first on the next round, though. Uh, yeah, I can't do anything there, so it looks like he's going to get that milestone. So you can pierce the oxygen here. Yep, he does. Oh no, he lays it on the ocean. Yeah, now he does that. Okay. Yeah, up to seven percent now, so halfway there on the oxygen. He's doing a lot of stuff here. Oh my goodness, his terraform rating's up to thirty-five now. <laughs> oh man. Oh, thirty-six. No. He's gonna steal that one too. Thirty-seven. No. Wow. Oh, man. I gotta get my production up there. Get my uh, terraform rating up. Should I get a lot, a lot of plants then? Right, what are the cards gonna be this time? Alright. Energy production by two. Is that so? Heat production by seven steps. 32 it costs. I might get that. It only going to cost me three, so I may not use that, but place an ocean tile. I got one more ocean tile to use. Decrease. He goes first, though. So he may, he may do that first. Is he going to place an ocean tile? I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna pass on that one, I guess. Okay, so hold on. Yeah, I'm going to pass on that one. Well, it does increase. I got plenty of heat. Though. Yeah, I don't want to increase my mega credit production, though. Decrease my energy production by one step.